Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lucha FM, for another TW 2020 Fight Club Pro episode. Uh, I can only apologise for it being later than I wanted to be. I wanted to be doing an episode on Wednesday and uh, Saturday. And unfortunately, because it just took forever to transfer photos and stuff from my old laptop to the new one, um, it just, it just, I had to literally just keep doing it until they got it sorted, really. So, but yeah, we're back on track now. We will do an hour long episode today and then starting next week we'll be um hopefully fingers crossed unless something else happens. Oh pardon me. Um it'll be Wednesday and Sunday or Saturday, I can't remember which day I said now. Um every week TW. So hopefully thank you for the people who have stood by me and watched it when I've been able to post it. I know it's a bit annoying with the schedule, but hopefully we can sort it out now. Uh, and thank you as always for the TUW community, much appreciated. Um, I get more comments and feedback from you lot than I ever do with my football manager stuff. So it's always, like I said, it's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, so when I come back in a second, we'll start the first, epi- uh, the first show of the episode. <laughs> right, so here we are for the last um, part of the episode. I did, I did just check. This will probably go for, by the time I finish this, it will be an ex- probably exactly an hour. So I hope, hope you like the longer episodes to make up for the fact that I couldn't do two episodes this week. Um, but yeah, just I apologise if it's a bit of a slog. Um, but yeah, A Kid bought pizza for everybody, and then obviously Johnny Kid did the usual, pass on his tips of psychology to Blue Kane. Right, so um, I'm going to do pre-show if, I, if I've got enough I haven't got enough to do a 10-way women's match so we're going to ignore that one we'll do a six-way women's match as a pre-show match and then what we'll do is we'll have Ali Cat Ali Cat Chardonnay uh, Kelly English, Eva Hogan, God. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, am I? That's why. Uh, Megan Payne, and then we'll try Trixie. Um, just a few minutes. So let's start the show properly now. We'll just do a singles match to start the show. We'll do Kelly Six versus. Hmm, let me think. Joseph Thomas. They should have a good match, hopefully. Do an angle. With them as well before the match. Actually, we'll do it after the match. Uh, no, we'll do it before the match. One more about. Right. Do a tag team match now. Um, mail, tag team view, exclude already booked. So, more than the hype, which is Nathan Martin and Darren Kearney, they can go against, no, not Paul Pearl, um, not the Avengers, pretty deadly, going against pretty deadly. So, oh, my mouse is winding me up today. Right. And we'll do a beat down afterwards. So, we'll have Kit Wilson fighting, Martin Grinch fighting, Nathan Martin selling. Selling, there we go. Right, so we've done 45, 46 minutes. We've got enough for a main event. We're all right. We're not. We can just 
just do a main event now. There'll be no issues. We'll have Thomas Billing soon. Defending his title, if it lets me. Thomas Billington versus Nail. Um, Rich Swan. And go 20 minutes. We'll have Thomas, the winner. We'll go storytelling, open, open match. Oh, for God's sake, we didn't click on that then. There we go. Right. So that's that. And we've gone slightly open up. So we'll have to do. minutes less than this right, there we go so in the pre-show six women's match Megan Bain won got a 66 rating um, Kellyanne English got a 70 rating she was the standout performer Kira Hogan did okay with 66 uh, the rest were a bit rubbish Megan Bain I'm getting rid of she's not very good uh, in real life she's doing well though so fair play to Megan Bain at the moment but um, Kelly Six is not good off script, so next time I need to try and keep remembering to put him in a scripted segment. Match only got 75. Hmm. Okay. 85 and 84, but only got 75. That doesn't make sense to me. I know the colour commentary could have been better, but. Anyway, Joseph Connors won that one. Uh, more than more than Hyde. Uh, defeated pretty deadly. A 69 rating kit wilson sustained a wrist tendonitis so that's probably why the match um wasn't as good nathan martin got an 83 karen K darren kearney got an 82 so that's good so we've got we've finally got a good like working tag team so i think the next i think the next event i do i think the main event should be kid like versus thomas billington i've not decided who wins that one yet and then i think for the tag titles i think it should be more than hype versus pod so hopefully we can do that. Angle afterwards got a 50. And then in the main event, Thomas Billington defeated Rich Swan by submission. He makes uh, defense number three of the heavyweight title. And then, yeah, Thomas Billington got a 76 and Rich Swan got a 77. I think there's something with the backstage is causing the wrestlers not to perform as good. Uh, 113 people turned up, got a 73 rating and the show increased the popularity in one region so what i'll do before i go is i'll quickly have a look at the backstage um morale see if there's anything that can be done to fix that so let's just have a look at the news items first yeah kit wilson's injured so let's have a look and see how long he's injured for uh, medical so he's only out for he's out always well, out for a while 36 days um yeah backstage let's have a look at this no 100 100 backstage just not too bad um we've got a few negative influences but nothing major uh nathan martin hates valkyrie for whatever i think they used to be together and then darren kearney hates valkyrie maybe i should get rid of valkyrie that might help i suppose jerry Jane and rich swan don't like each other while born they they must have gone maybe i'll try and do some healthy tampering as they called it before the next show and see if that will do anything right then on that note i'm going to call it a day i'm just going to save this before i forget except that there we go anyway um where am i okay this is really weird i'm sorry but i can't see myself on the camera which is annoying oh no oh, no. oh bear with us there you go so sorry about that, just just getting used to this new laptop and trying to figure it all out. Anyway, thank you as always for following and watching. I know this is a long episode, but if you think about it, you can just watch it in two halves if you want, or some people just watch it a little bit at a time. It, like I said, it is a bit of a slog if you're watching it in one go. But I hope you enjoy the episode. I hope you enjoy 
how I'm booking Fight Club Pro at the moment. Uh, leave a comment if you've got any suggestions on female wrestlers I could bring in that might might come uh, into the company and be good additions because I'm really starting to lack. Um, I think I've got like two or three decent women wrestlers at the moment. I can't keep putting their matches with each other. It just it'll get boring for you and it'll get boring for me. So yeah, just let me know if you've got any suggestions or just in general, just leave a comment whether you like it or don't like it. If there's any criticism, that's fine as well. Just let me know. It makes me a better performer. But anyway, right, I'll leave you to it and I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye. Right, so we've got our next Afterburn episode. Let's just have the backstage incidents. Vicky James, um, obviously a good egg, keeping the morale happy in the locker room. Um, I got rid of a few wrestlers that were moaning and just weren't needed as well. So there's that. And uh, yeah, let's just crack on with the show. Ginny has left us. Uh, sadly, she's gone to progress. So it's, it's, we're really lacking in good women's workers that are available to us. At the moment, I'm going to have to do some proper searching, see if I can find some some good ones. But we've just got to make do what we've got at the moment. At least we've still got, for now, A.D. Ray. We've got her in a match against Julia. Do that, and then we'll do is steal the show, see if that helps in any way. Okay. Too long of a match, apparently. Um, we'll add the... If it lets them click on it. There we go. Open match. And then we'll go... Oh, all that match. There we go. So that'll open the show. We'll do an angle afterwards where Gulia beats up Hayley Ray. Do tag team match. We won't have the tag titles on one in this one. We'll just do um, what I'm thinking is we'll go do that. Um, we'll have the Young Guns against Gates of Destiny. Actually, no. That that will bring the quality of the show down. So we'll go. Pretty deadly. Actually, I think even pretty deadly. I think we're gonna it's gonna bring the quality down, but we'll see. Uh fifteen minutes. There you go. And then we'll do an angle, obviously afterwards as well. Kit Wilson fighting, and then Alan Prince fighting. Ethel Allen selling. Luke Jacob selling. Um, we'll do a, we'll do a crazy 10 man tag team match now. Well, I believe I'm Mule in it. I can put him on there. Blue Kane. And then we'll have Nathan Martin, Kid Lycos 2, Kelly 6, Calvin Tankman, Rich Swan, uh, Joseph Connors. Who else? Chris Sabin, Matt Seidel. Hopefully, it will mean um, Blue Kane and Levi Moore will have a good match just being in the mix with them lot. So we've got three minutes left, actually, so we might as well just up this to three minutes. Uh, oh, no, sorry, I did that the wrong way. I meant to... Um, let's knock that down to 15 minutes and then what we'll do here is we'll just knock this down to 10 minutes there you go right let's start the show 76 rating for the Kelly Ray Gulia match Kelly Ray run uh, Kelly Ray with an 80 Gulli with a 71 good, way to, good match to start the show segment afterwards with a 62 and then pretty deadly defeat the young guns in less than ten minutes. 
got a 73 rating, which isn't too bad. Kit Wilson and um, Alan Prince was the stand-up performers, but Luke Jacobs did well. Ethan, Ethel Allen, sorry. Is it Ethel? Or, no, Ethan. I thought his name was Ethel. I've been calling him Ethel Allen for ages now. Ethan Allen was the weak link, but he is a prospect, so hopefully that will it'll get better as time goes on. Um, Angle after got 34. And then in the main event, in an exceptional match, Nathan Martin won the 10 man match, got an 82 rating. Levi Moore got a 62, which I think is the best performance he's done so far. Lou Kane got a 47. And then um, Nathan Moore, no, sorry, Nathan Martin got an 81. Kid Like Us 2 got an 86. Kelly, Kelly 6 got an 85. Camel Town got a 76. Rich Swan got an 81. Joseph Khan's got an 84. Chris Saban got a 60 and Matt Seidel got a 67, so not too bad overall. About 75 rating overall, no popularity changes, 116 people. So uh, pretty good. So the plan is probably to do one more um episode of Afterburn before I call it a day. It might be just under an hour. Um but yeah, I'll be back in a minute with the next episode episode of Afterburn. Right. We're back. Um, sadly, we've lost Leighton Buzzard. I wish I'd done more with him while I had him. Um, he signed an exclusive contract with WXW. So I think we still got him for a little bit, probably, till the end of the month. But um, he probably will be missed. He could have been a really good potential colour contact down the road. Um, so we've brought in Davey Boy Smith here today. So we'll give him a match tonight and see how he gets on. Um, we've got our next uh, big event. So what we'll do is we'll start the big event with a big debut of Davey Boy Smith Jr. Let's do that first, get that done. Backstage incidents, uh, incident involving a kid. Uh, silly game created quickly, became very popular backstage. And then obviously Johnny Kidd passed on his psychology tips to Blue Kane. All right, so let's do Davey Boy's. Let's do Dave Mastiff first. Can we actually do Davy Boy? Is he available? Oh, he's not available. Why is he not available? Um, let's have a look. It'll tell me on... Where is it? Here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Where is it? It's here somewhere. Ah. Such an idiot. Right. Davy Boy Smith Jr. is currently working for DDT at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, Ginny's not available either, she's injured. Have a quick look. Is anybody else? Ali is working elsewhere. Damon Coleman's working elsewhere. Effie's working elsewhere. Ringo Lothman's not available as well. Nor's Ruka Kato. Jerry Janela's not available. Nor's Kellyanne English as well. So that's just how it is sometimes. Right, so let's do. Kick off the show with Nathan Martin versus Kid Like Us 2. Eighteen minutes, just let him go at it. And then we'll do um Blue Kane versus Matt Cross. And then we'll have Blue Kane win. Uh, in fact, I'll have switched them two matches up. And then we'll do a beat down afterwards. Blue Kane fighting. And then. Oh my god, my, bro my brain's gone blank already. I can't remember who wrestled Matt Cross when it is. Oh my god, what is going on today? There we go, Matt Cross. Right, so that's that done. Um, just have to put that there. Uh, right. What are you doing? Sh stupid mouse pad. Right. Okay. Uh, tag team match. We do male singles view. Tag team view. Sorry. We'll do 
POD. They can defend their tag titles against. Should we go full throttle or should we go system X? Maybe system X, see how they get on. So system X of Chris Saban and Jeff Evans. Seventeen minutes. Tag team. We'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide. You never know. We might get a title change in this one. Right. So we've done sixty-two minutes so far. We're all right. Um, we're slightly all right. In fact, we'll do an angle with. We'll do microphone angle with Rampage. Uh, microphone Ashton Smith. Microphone. Oh, for God's sake. You know when you just wish you, you wish you never got out of bed. It's one of them days today. Oh no, it's not Matt Seidel, is it? It's um, Chris Saban. And then we'll just script all these. What's that there? Right. Uh, women's match now. Do a women's match. We'll do. Freeway singles. Kaylee Ray. We are lacking on the female side of the roster here, especially with good workers. Um, Kaylee Ray's the better one. We got Jetta. She can. She's pretty good. And then probably Gooley is the next one down. I think to be honest, the rest are just not good at all. We are definitely missing Ginny. Kaylee Ray, I'll go win this. And then, right, um, I think, well, so we've done the tag title match, we've done the women's title match, we've done, we've got 87 minutes, we've done 87 minutes, sorry, we've got another 100 minutes we can possibly do, but I don't think I will because I think we're lacking in good wrestlers. So I might just do two more matches. We we'll do Rich Swan. Uh, who can he go against? Uh, not Luke Jacobs. I was going to do Luke Jacobs then. Bobby Fish? No. AR Fox? We'll do AR Fox. I don't know what I've done here. Major star. There we go. We'll just leave that. Shea Purse is a major star. Okay. I'm trying to think who's pulling it. Amazing Red. I don't think he's good enough on the. I don't think he's good enough on the database. Dalton Castle. And then, right, so we've probably got one more match left. So we'll do the match first, and then we'll do the angle afterwards. So we'll do Thomas Billington defending his title against... Maybe Calvin Tankman. Uh, Car Noir. Mm, let's have a look at this thing. Joseph Connors, Kelly Six. We'll do Leighton Buzzard because he's not going to be here much longer, so we'll just have him in there. 18 minutes. Uh, heavyweight title. And then we'll have Thomas Billington retain it because obviously I don't want to take the risk of in case Leighton wins it. Do an open match though. Leighton Buzzard isn't happy. Well, you're leaving anyway, so it don't really bother me. Uh, right, I think that's going to be it. I don't think I'm going to overdo it. Right, so Blue Cane won. 
So 43 rating, blue came with in-ring performance of 45. Matt Cross is going to be terminated because that is atrocious. 27. Uh, Angle afterwards only got a 37 as well. So Matt Cross is just a disaster. An exceptional match, Kid Lycos 2 defeated Nathan Martin um, in 17 minutes by the familiar finish of a submission. If this is getting a bit boring now, this every time submission, 90% of the matches end in it. Nathan Martin got an 83 rating, Kid Lycos got an 86. 85 rating for the match, sorry. 51 rating for the angle with the tag teams, and then 76 for the match itself. Standout performer was Rampage Brown with 79. That's good. They defend their titles successfully. And then Kaylee Ray won in the triple threat match. They got an 83. Jessa did well and Gulia did all right as well. Kaylee Ray obviously being the stand-up performer. Um, Rich Swan defeated AR Fox and Dalton Castle. Uh, that got a 79 rating. Rich Swan got an 83 rating. AR Fox got a 74. Dalton Castle only got a 49. I think I need to get rid of Dalton Castle as well. So Matt Cross and Dalton Castle need to be out of here. And in the main event, Thomas Billington defeated Leighton Buzzard. Uh, there was times there was definite lack of psychology on display and the match had a tendency to drift a little bit. Still got an 83 rating. 85 rating for Thomas Billington, probably one of his best in-ring performances so far. He's really he's really um, doing well in this title reign. He's getting better and better, which is good. 278 people, I think that's the most we've done, so that's all good. That's really good. And then the show increased the half out to 55 regions. Overall rating of 79. Give Thomas Billington, um, Kelly Ray, and um, who else do I praise? Actually, I'll just leave it as them two. Right, there you go. So yeah, we're not we're not stacked with great performers like we used to be. Um, but we've managed to find some more, like Calvin Tantman and Nathan Martin's been a really good one as well. Uh, Tully Blanchard has an opinion. Julie has charisma and she has a lot of upside, so maybe I'll put her in some microphone angles from now on. Uh, just ignore that because that's just how it is at the moment. Right then, uh, what we'll do now is we've got... Um, Another afterburn episode, so we'll be back in a sec. Actually, do you know what? I'm just gonna forward it. There's no point pausing the video while I'm doing it. This new laptop um is very very good with TW. It processes the days really quick, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, yeah, it, it does really well. Obviously, TW is quite a slow game to process. There you go. Look at that. It was never that it was never that fast before on the old one. Right, after burn, local Midlands, I need to remember that. Oh no, Ginny's left. Did was she meant to be leaving? I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe she was. Um who's she working for? Hold on. So progress. Ah Progress have nicked one off us. So that's the women's roster on the in the shitter so to speak um just need to broadcast in afterburn negotiate extend all right so we've kept afterburn for another three months and then obviously we've got next episode here we've got a few morale issues here so we're gonna sort these out quickly it lets me there we go. If there's loads, I'll pause the video. I think because it might it'll just it'll just be boring for you to lot to watch. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back for the next episode of Afterburn. Uh, we've had an incident with Mickey James. Uh, Mickey James gave locker room a lift when she provided crates of free drinks for everybody, and then Jerry Jones was brought into the wrestlers' court, accused of being absorbed by his phone when he should have been uh, paying attention to the locker room meeting the judge came down and gave him sent him to buy a crate of beer in the locker room so if Joe Ginella's had to buy a crate of beer Mickey James has decided to bring free drinks as well the whole bloody 
the whole locker room is going to be absolutely smashed for this show. Let's hope that's not true. All right. Um, Ginny is injured for about a couple of weeks, um, so that's why she's not here. Uh, right, let's get back to basics here. So we'll go leave on your pre-show match. And then we'll have him against... Um, let's try him. He's not wrestled for us yet, so we'll see how, how good he is. Obviously, Levi Mule with the win. Uh, oh, do an angle afterwards as well. Levi Mule. Microphone, and then we'll have Chris Jokic. Sounds like a bloody tennis player, he does Chris Jokic. Uh, I always forget to do that. No, no, no. Um, there, there we go. Right, so that's that done. Right then, let's start the sh opening show. The opening match, as I remember from what somebody told me, doesn't have to be an amazing match. It won't affect the match rating too much. So we'll just do Blue Kane versus Gringo Loco. Blue Kane with the win. Uh, okay. Bring a loco can't do a 15 minute match, so we'll just do 10. Oh, there you go. Sorry, right? And then we'll do a blue cane beat down afterwards. And then we'll have Kaylee Ray. Who will we have her against? We're just going to have Kaylee Ray win a few matches while Ginny's out to build up a big match for them too. So we'll try Ellie Ann English, see if she's any good. I don't think she's wrestled for us yet. And then what we'll do, we've got 35 minutes, we've got we've got 20 minutes left and we're okay for angles so far. So we'll do singles match, we'll do Nathan Martin. Actually no, we won't do Nathan Martin, we'll do Kid Lycos 2 versus Calvin Tackman. I think they would have a good little man, big man match. I'll leave that blank. Let the AI do it, and then we'll do a beat down afterwards. Calvin Tapman fighting, good life cost to sell it. There we go. Jobs are good. Um, we can't do another match. So we'll just leave it as that. Uh, in an exceptional pre-show match, Levi Mule defeated Chris Jokic, fifty-seven rating. Uh, Jokic is okay. He's not. He's not. Amazing, but he's okay. Um, they didn't have very good chemistry in the ring, so we won't put them together again. Angle afterwards got a 52. Um, Blue Kane defeated Green Loco in nine minutes by submission, got a 46 rating. Blue Kane with a 47 rating. Both wrestlers seemed off their game, which doesn't help. Right, in a superb wrestling and in a match with superb wrestling and great heat, Kaylee Ray defeated Kelly Ann English, got an 81 rating. Kelly uh, Ann English did a, did well actually. She got seventy. I don't know whether that's because she wrestled. She was wrestling the uh, the one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the previous show to see what happened that women's match. Oh, I'll have a look after this. Um, Kid Lycos two defeat Calvin Tatman in fourteen minutes thirty four seconds by pinfall. Got an eighty rating. Calvin Tatman got a seventy nine rating. Kid Lycos got an eighty five rating. So that's really good. The angle afterwards got a 63. So we improved our popularity, increased our popularity in one region, got a 73 rating, and 116 people turned up. That's not too bad. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll have a look at not this show that we've just done, the other one. Um, because I went too quick. My mouse pad is very sensitive, so the slightest touch and it will click. I'm trying to get the sensitivity right and the speed right on it, but it's not as easy as you think. Uh, Dax Hayward, contract expiring, but obviously we're never going to be able to sign him. 
the moment. Uh, let's have a look. We've got uh, 21 prestige now. That's not too bad. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Previous show history. Right, so. So, Kaylee Ray defeated Jetta, Haruka, Kato, and Vipress and got an 80 rating. But I assume. Oh, we can have a look here. So, Kato got a 70, Jetta got a 79, Kaylee Ray got an 83, and Vipress was the weak link in that match. But still, still good match overall. Um, I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the episode. Right, we're back for the next episode. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is do a very similar format to last show. So we'll do four-way singles. And, uh, oh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll do um, Kid Lycos 2, um, Joseph Connors, and then who was the other one? I can't remember now. There was oh Darren Darren Kearney's back. That's good. Um, oh god, I can't remember who it was now. Uh, sorry about this. This is not good TV. Fritz Swan will probably do then. Fritz Swan, and then I don't want to do Nathan Martin because I want him in another match. You know what? I'm gonna throw Levi Muir in there just to give his match rate, give his in-ring performance a boost. I won't have him win though. I'll just have him in the match. So this will probably be his first loss. Um, we'll do 17 minutes. In fact, though, I will say keep strong Levi Muir. That might affect the match rate in a bit, but at least it'll help Levi uh, when it comes to. Keeping his undefeated, well, not undefeated, but keeping his momentum basically. And then we'll have Levi Muir trash the opponents afterwards. Can't type today. And then who was the other one? Which one? There you go. Not very, not very well prepared today. Right. So we'll do that. And then what we'll do now, actually we'll do a four-way uh, women's match as well. We'll do Ginny, if it lets me. Is Ginny not available? Oh, Ginny might not be available. No, she's not available. Okay, we'll do Ali. Oh, no, we won't do Ali. We'll do, right, let's have a think, let's have a think. Um, we're losing Val uh, Vipress as well. She's going to WWE apparently. But she never really wrestled for us, so it's no real loss. I'm gonna do Haru no, no Haruko K2 did all right actually last time. Um so we're lacking here. Where's K oh there's Kaylee Ray? We can put Kaylee Ray in there at least, that's good. We'll put Vipress in there because she's never wrestled for us, I don't think so. Give her a match before she goes to WWE. Right, how long much have we done? We've done, 40, we've done 43 minutes so far. And then we've got 12 more minutes to proceed. So I was I can't do the the match quality that I did last show because there's lack of wrestlers on there. So I think what I'm gonna do is do a four versus four match. And then we'll have Blue Kane on the one side. We'll have Nathan Martin and Darren Kearney, and then we'll have uh, Jack Evans, I suppose, and then um, hmm, Dave Mastiff, Chris Hero, we'll have some big boys on here. Calvin, and then who else can we put in there as a big boy? Uh, try that first, that might help. Probably miss our uh, wild, wild ball. He's not a big boy, but he's like he'll, he'll be he's up there with them. He'll, he'll be all right. We'll just leave it like that. 75% matches, 92 would be penalized. So we need to do an angle. So it means we're probably gonna have to uh, take that match down a bit afterwards. We'll just do wild ball selling.
we'll have to, yeah, how many have we done? 68, 65, so we just need to take this down a little bit. Like so, there we go. Right, so that match did, this, this four-way match did quite well, actually, considering had Levi Moore in it. And it also helped Levi Moore. He got a 61 rating. Well, actually, no, he did, he did the same as he did last match. But um, at least it gets him in the mix with the big boys. And the last words did all right. And then, oh, balls, I went too quick there. I don't know what happened in that match. I'll have to have a look afterwards. Um, it's a shame you can't go backwards, isn't it? Or can you? No, you can't. Right, in an exceptional match, Kane, Jack Evans, and more than the hype. Defeated Dave Master, Chris Hero, Calvin Tackman, Wild Ball. Got 64 rating. Who was the standout? Darren Cooney got 74, so that's good. 81 for Nathan Martin. Uh, Blue came with just a 47, though. Calvin Tackman was 76. So there were some, some decent performers there. Um, Jason Jordan, I need to get rid of. He's not very good in, as a road agent. And the Angle Athletes got a 50. So I don't think. Oh, we, we, improved, we increased the popularity in one region, so that's good. Only got 66 overall rating there. Uh, 116 people in, so not too bad. But yeah, I need to get rid of Jason Jordan. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back for another Afterburn episode. Um, we have a backstage incident. Another one with Johnny Kidd passing on his tips of psychology to Blue Kane. Yada, yada, yada. Um, actually, let me have a look at something first. I wanted to look at medical. Yeah, so Darren Kearney is out for a couple more days. He's had a broken neck, bless him. So hopefully him and Nathan Martin could be like a really good tag team for us because we are kind of lacking in good tag teams now. We've got Rampage and Ashton Smith. Um, pretty deadly is all right. But the days of having Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster super working tag team are over. But anyway, right. Let's have Levi Mule back on the pre-show for now. We'll have him against Eddie Colon. What I might have to do is start putting singles wrestlers in tag team matches and see if they gel, and then I'll create a new tag team that way. I think that's the best way to do it, really. Right, so that's that one. And then we'll just do the interview before. Um, I'm going to do star quality. I don't know what that does. Um, but we'll see how it goes. See what see what happens with that. So that's that. And then I'm going to leave the gates of destiny pushed for now because they're not very good to be honest. So I've got to concentrate on the wrestlers that are good. So what we're going to do, four-way singles match to kick off the show properly. And then what we're going to do is have Nathan Martin, Cara Noir, um, Kelly Six, and who was the other one? I had, I had it in my head, but I can't think who it was now. Male food already booked. Um, I can't think who it was now. It wasn't Calvin Tankman. Uh, I think it was Joseph Connors. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was uh, Kid Lycos 2, but we'll leave him. Um, let's put that there. And then what we'll do is we'll have Thomas Billington, microphone, and then Kid Lycos 2, microphone. Set up the main event, and then the main event will be uh, actually no changing tax here. I'm changing what I'm going to do. So it's going to be a mixed intergender tag team match. It's going to be Thomas and uh, Ginny versus Kid Lycos Two and Kaylee Ray. Will this either work out well or not? We'll soon find out. Right, I think we've gone. Oh, we've got we've got room for another match. Okay. Um, 
Right, so we'll, we'll do we'll do another mid card match. I oh, know we'll do we'll do a tag team match. We'll do a tag title match, and then we'll have uh, the male tag team view, and we'll have POD, which is Ashton and Rampage versus. Young Guns. Let's try them out. Luke Jacobs is pretty good on here, actually, to be honest, from what I remember. Right. So we'll push that up there. And then we are good to go. So the interview with the angle with Levi Moore. Did okay, got a 40, so maybe that um, star quality thing didn't work the way I wanted it to. The match was pretty good. Leave on your one. Even more with an in-ring performance 61. I think that's the best he's done in the ring so far. So that's good. And then the four-way match got a 79 rating. Um, Nathan Martin won. Nathan Martin got an 80 performance. Cara Noir, 78. Kelly, 685. And Joseph Connors, 84. So that's good that we've got uh, these four. So obviously if we lose Thomas Billington, we can put some one of them in there. In fact, I think Kid Lycos 2 was probably the way to go, really, to be honest. But um, yeah, let's see how we get on here. So the interview segment did really well. Got a 70, which is really good for an angle for us. And then, um, first of all, the tag team match. POD retained the tag title. It's got a 78 rating. That's really good. Um, mostly because of Ashton and Rampage. But Luke Jacobs and Ethel Allen did all right. I think, they'd probably, I think they'll probably have a decent... They could probably get better as they go along. And then the main event, intergender tag team match. Thomas Billington and Ginny defeat Kid Like Us 2 and Kaylee Ray. Um, Thomas Billington beat uh, Pin Kaylee Ray. Ginny got an 85, Thomas Billington got 79, Kaylee Ray got an 82, and Kid Like Us with a stand-up performer 86. So maybe at the next event, I might, I might change the champion. I don't know. We will see. Thomas Billington's been good, though. Um, he, I think he'll he'll get better as his title reign goes along. Maybe we, we can put Kid Like Us title reign on ice for now and build it up slowly. I think that's what I might do. Anyway. 80 rating, which was really good for an afterburn episode. Increase our popularity in one region and got 115 people in. So that's sort of like the formula you need to do. You need to just have all your best workers on the show as much as possible. I don't I didn't need to have Levi Mule um on the pre-show, for instance, but I'm trying to get him over so he eventually can become champion. Uh Valkyrie wants an increase, that's fine. Uh, let's have a look. Hatred, Kit Savian and Ricky Starks now hate each other. Okay. Oh, well done. Fallout from the Penelope, Penelope Ford, Penelope Ford and Ricky Starks affair. So apparently, uh, Penelope Ford and Kit Savian have broken up after after the former was caught cheating with Ricky Starks. Uh, Kelly Six is saying that Luke Jacobs is turning into a good worker, so that's good. So we'll probably just keep pushing, trying to give. Um, Luke Jacobs and Ethel Allen as, as try and get them as much time in the ring as possible against other tag teams so right then I'll be back in a minute right we're back for another Afterburn episode uh, no backstage incidents which is nice um, I've stumbled across some tag teams and I've also added some of my own so all for all is a tag team of Matt Seidel and Chris Sabin who are apparently called to create our two best workers Obviously, we've already got Generation Next. Um, we've also, this tag team was one that was already available to us, but I've only, I've only just recently noticed, so I've added them, and they've got 100% experience. And obviously, we already know Nathan Martin is really good. Um, I don't think Darren, Ke uh, Darren Kearney has wrestled for us yet, so that would be interesting. Um, System X is um, a tag team I put together, which is Chris Saban and Jack Evans. And then uh, we already know about them. Is it the Bounty Hunters? No, we already know about them. Uh, Filthy Generation? 
No. Sons of Sin, I can't remember. Oh yeah, Sons of Sin, which is Steve, Xavier and, da and Damian Corbin. And then, um, I think we've added these together as well. They were already were attacked. Actually, no, they were already attacked. This was attacked Team Honor. We've added these as well. Ethel Allen is on the creative side. He's one of my high prospects, a uh, hot prospect. And also, um, I can't remember what the other one is, but the creative really rating. So what we're going to do is to kick off this next show is we're going to try out these tag teams and uh, see how they get on. So uh, mail, tag team view, we've already put. So we've got, obviously we can't do all the tag teams because Chris Saban's in two of the new ones. So we can't do that one. Um, but we've got Sons of Sin. Young Guns, and then what we'll do, we'll put the uh, Gate to Destiny in there as well. And we won't, we won't have a winner. We'll just leave it. Let the AI figure out. It will probably end up being Chris Saban and Matt Seidel. But at least that'll be an interesting way to start the show. And then what we'll do is we'll do a Blue Cane match. Have them against A Kid. We'll have Blue Cane win. And then what we'll do is post match beatdown by Blue Cane on A Kid. And then what we're going to do is have Levi Mule. In, on the main show itself, we'll have him against um, El Fantasmo. And we'll have Levi Mule win. El Fantasmo is not happy, as you can expect. And we'll do a microphone segment with Levi Mule after, um, after the match. Uh, and then we need to take that down by a few minutes. Right, okay. So there we go. We are good to go. Actually, I'm just going to push that up here. So, Full Throttle uh, versus Sons of Sin versus Young Goods versus Gate and Destiny. Full Throttle won, which we expected. Um, let's have a look, see who performed well. So, Matt Seidel did all right. Actually, nobody really performed that well, to be honest. Um, surprised by that because I thought that Nathan Martin. Oh, Nathan Martin isn't in that tag team. Nathan Martin's in another tag team, but they can't. But they're the I've just remembered the other guy's um, Darren Kearney, where his name is injured. Apparently, Steve Xavier and, and Damian Kilburn have absolutely zero chemistry together as partners, which is hilarious when they're I think they're rated a hundred, but yeah. Blue Kane obviously defeated A Kid, got a 59 rated, uh, 45 rate in ring rating for Blue Kane. Angle afterwards did alright. And then the angle before the main event. Um, Levi Moore did a masterful job of improvising interaction with the crowd. And then the main event, Levi Moore defeated Al Fantasmo in 12 minutes 50 by pinfall. Bloody hell, that makes a change by pinfall. It's always submission on here. Um, he had a 58 rating, El Fantasma only had a 62. This, I don't think this show is going to do very well, actually, to be honest, because there wasn't any standout matches. But yeah, 63. 112 people in there. So, not too bad. He looks quite scary. Black Strom. He's got a lot of tattoos. Right then, I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Right, so we um, here we are. Um, I have looked at the announcer situation because the last couple of shows we've done, the colour commentator let us down a bit. So I'm going to take a chance on the next couple of Afterburn episodes and put Ray Mysterio in there. Um, we've also got Grado and Leighton Buzzard, who have got very high potential as colour commentators. 
So I'm going to give them a, a try out as well. And if, if it doesn't work out, I'll just put Buddy Ray back in there. Uh, I'll try and find someone a little bit better. But our popularity at the moment is, is probably going to make it difficult with that. Um, we are currently we currently have 20% prestige and 79% momentum. Um, we haven't got any uh, an events uh, for the rest of this month, but probably have one in February. So let's just get this afterburn done. Like I said, I'm going to do an hour long episode today. Well, I'll try and do an hour. It might not be as long as an hour. I don't want to put people to sleep. If I think it's boring, I won't do an hour. Oh, sorry about that. Right. Um, so this is life after Mark Andrews. For people who watched the previous episode, we no longer have our MVP, Mark Andrews. So the current champion is Thomas Billington. So he's not as good, but we've got to basically build him up, really. Um, we've still got some of the good women's wrestlers, so they will get more of a spotlight as well. So instead of just being like opening match, some of the some of the women's matches might be the main events because they can still put on a really good match. Um, but what we're going to do first is Blue Kane. We're going to have him against... Um, Laredo, no, um, let's have a look actually, let's go down here, uh, Trent, let's have him against Trent, so, um, yeah, my mouse, my touchpad on my new laptop's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit annoying, so it might, um, there might be a few, a few errors here and there because of it, but yeah, we're just going to have Blue Kane win, hopefully Trent will have, give him a good match. Trent's furious. I'll bung him some money later. Um, we'll do Blue Cane attack on Trent afterwards. I don't know why Trent's complaining. I think Blue Cane's more over than him, so surely he should just be happy with it. Um, I'm going to do a three versus three match here as a pre show match. The Levi Moore, Khan, and Toro Leona, and then we'll just have them against some luchadors. And then we'll have Levi Mule. Um, got a Levi Mule, Khan, and Toro Leona as the winners. Oh, I'm about to say, right. Yeah, right. Um I would better do an angle actually with Levi Mule as well. So I'll leave on Mule on the mic. So that's uh can't oh, for God's sake. I'm having a, I'm having a nightmare today already and we're only five minutes in. We'll have them fighting and then have aero star selling. Oh no, not star quality. I don't even know what star quality is or sex appeal. There we go. Selling. Um, Amanda selling. And then who was the other one? Loretto Kid, wasn't it? Selling. There you go. So, well, I'll leave one more on the mic. I forgot to start pre show. So, leave one more can use his mic skills to berate the opponents after the. after the And then they get to Destiny Base and beat the shit out of them. Sorry for swearing. Beat the hell out of them. Right, um, uh, did it, did it, did it, we're a tag team match now. Uh, so look, male tag team view, pretty deadly. This mouse doesn't want to drag, which is really annoying, so we'll have to do it this way. And then we'll have, there we go, it's all right, we'll have POD, we're kind of limited in tag teams at the moment, so there's going to be a lot of repeat matches, probably. Seventeen minutes, we'll do that one for. Tag team, I'm going to leave it blank, we're going to see who the AI decides to book, it might be time for pretty deadly to have a tag team room. Um, right, so we've got about 
15 minutes left. So what I'm going to do now is a triple threat women's match. Actually, we'll do a four way. And then we'll have Ginny, Kelly Ray, uh, Julia, Jetta. They're probably our best free workers. I oh, know Ali's pretty good actually, so we'll put Ali instead of Julia. Uh, we'll put the women's title on the line. Who is the women's champion? I think it's Ginny. Changes a lot, this one. And that's Kaylee Ray. We'll just leave it to the AI. Um, right, we're good to go. So the opening pre-show match got a 56 rating. Viva Mule got a performance of 51. Khan, 58. Toa Leona, unfortunately, only 44. The Luchadors did okay as well. Um, Commander seems um, off his game. The Angle afterwards did all right. Aerostar and Commander underperformed, unfortunately. Leo Von Mule's performance was good though, so that's good. And he was superb working without a script. He has the crowd in the palm of his hand at the entire time. So it's good that he's getting over now. Um, Blue Kane destroyed Trent Seven. Got a 61 rating. Only got a 46 though. He's done better than that usually. So might try him against Nathan Martin next match or, or Kelly Six or somebody like that. Because they're really good. They're reliable hands in the mid card. POD retained their titles against Pretty Deadly, got a 77 rating. Um, Rampage Brown got a 78 rating. And then the main event, Ginny has won the women's title again. She um, defeats Kaylee Ray, Ali, and Jetta in a four way match. And the match rating got an 81. Ginny had an 85 uh, match rating, um, in ring performance, sorry, and so did Kaylee Ray. And then the, Ali was the weak link of the, the match, unfortunately, and Jetta had a 77. And it says here, the match deserved better colour commentary. So we've still got the issue of the colour commentary. Um, but I'll leave it with Ray for, for the rest of this month and see how it goes. We didn't get any increase in popularity. We got an overall rating of 75, and we got 115 people in. So that's pretty good. It's a few more than we usually get on, a, on an average rated show. So our uh, popularity is getting a little bit better each day. Hopefully one day we'll be bringing in crowds of thousands. But it's a long way ahead before we do that. That would really help with the financial side of things, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's all right. I think that's just a, um, it's just like a paper appearance deal. Oh, Ali's going to retire in three months. Matt Hardy has an opinion. Aerostar is clumsy. Uh, we'll probably just get rid of Aerostar. He's not really, I'm not really that bothered about him. I don't do that every time somebody says somebody's clumsy, but like I said, it's, it's no big loss. And then what we'll do here, we've got probably a couple of wrestlers. Commander, we'll just bung him some money. I usually do 4,000, it usually fixes it. So if it's irritated, you just do a thousand. If it's annoyed, you have to do more than a thousand. So you should just do four thousand. Ah, there we go. Still annoyed after four thousand. So um, I'll just do ten thousand. It is a bit annoying just for the sake of keeping him happy. I know. Stupidly flawed. It's not as bad as football manager though. It's literally football manager is literally morale managing. You have to keep every one of your players happy, or else the whole team just. Crumbles. Right then, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. 